Hello, welcome to Ashley Lancelot Show. We're going to be doing the Umber Hulk painting. Um, for some reason, my recorder doesn't work. You want to use some, some kind of MPS or Citadel um, bright yellow paint for the base color for this as well. I am very sorry that it's kind of laggy and everything as well. For some reason, my whole thing is uh, going to crap. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share and we will be going to stop and going because for some reason my editing uh, media player does not want to play well so i am basically have this on uh no sound and also recording over it on mb ops so yes uh, we are trying to do this on the rpg channel the rpg channel hasn't been up and i think it's, i have this video for over a month and i think and i have other painting video over a month and i think basically this might be a good time just posting this up because people are asking how when do I do another painting video for it. You just want to cover the bright uh, yellow uh, type of acrylic type base paint and uh, basically cover it to give it that uh, undertone because this creature is going to be orange, orangish brown towards the end of it. Um, that is the key uh, for this as well. And we'll be stopping going to see what color paint it is because editing this might be a little bit more rough towards the end and I can see why it got a lot of hiccups I believe because I think it did a lot of cut and paste for it as well just yellow it all out we'll be shadowing it and everything else for it as well we'll be doing a stop and go while recording this as well I think we'll be seeing here we go Everland Sunset that is an orangish yellow type uh, base on Citadel. Citadel paint is quite expensive for it. this is going to be the shadowing on our toe for the carapace for it uh to give that more of a look see the difference between the yellowish and how that yellowish uh, orange uh type i would say orangish brown give it that under look uh, and you can see that between I, i'm not doing the whole thing i'm just quickly dabbling around and brushing it over by between the carapace as well giving the little shine uh remember these creatures are scavenger and they do live under the underdark or cave and they do scavenge for uh dead uh dead um like dead food and and also also they a lot of these creatures are in the sewage waste in the underdark in the cave and they usually clean it up they're like basically a giant dung beetle if you want to uh, have more of a uh, realistic look of it there are different colors of these uh umber hog there's like purple all brown um there's all black as well and um basically you know just go a little bit dabby don't cover it all up just like part of the ones that you want to see that's basically giving that more of a detailed look because we keep going over and over it this is basically several layer paint uh, of it as well this will take time to get the right consistency you can see what i have done have a little bit of that bright yellow showing out because we use a different separate paint uh, later on of it as well usually the carapace and the exoskeleton on the bottom will be the best part as well usually the bottom feet and the hands will be more because that would be the more the one that's going to be dirtied up as well. Let's we go use the other paint for this. Uh, this is Leather Brown from MSP. To give that little leathery texture of it. And a mixture of Averland as well to give it more of a brownish look. So just a little, little, little gollop and a little bit, you know, you want to do a 50-50 of it to get more of a consistency of it. But you, can you can see how you guys want to do it. With the color you want the little bit remember you're going we're going a little bit darker as we can we're going to use that to you see that little gash bar in a carapace to show that more of the outline of it and this is a secondary shadowing of it so we have a little bit of brown that goes that gives that shadow underneath that carapace underneath that as well mm -hmm. I'm not going over the, the outer void of it, giving that more of that look. I am not an expert painter. I've been painting D&D for over te uh, 15 years. So I've been using oil type base paint, acrylic type base paint, and high end acrylic type base paint as well. And I do like water based paint for it. Uh, this is just the outline of the secondary shadow, giving that more of a, you know, the teen and also you know you know when you shine in the light in a certain direction it'll give it that utmost uh look good looking detail for it as well it looks pretty good on my end uh watching it on this side and, and bring a voiceover for it, it looks pretty good 
And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share as well. And we are probably going to do an earth elemental later on and a uh, swap mount creature as well. I do have it recorded. I um, haven't finished it yet, but you know what? I am going to go back at it if you guys want more. We are probably going to do more Dungeons and Dragons type monsters and how to use them as well. If you guys want, like, will like that. And here we go. We have that little, little, little. See, see the outline I did. That's just the outline. Is not covering it. We, we just want to have that secondary shadow because we are going to wash it uh, as well. It's going to probably be a brownish black wash. You know, get that. And it's kind of hard to get the pebbles in, and just want to get the cracks for it. Kind of hard doing upside down. I don't have that much cameras for it. I already have like one uh, a Sony uh, type uh, camera, and I think this is a pretty good job. Uh, Something I use it for a lot of my vlogging for it as well. If you guys want to know, um, as well. Uh, once we have more of a fund to get a better camera and better uh, softwares and so on, we will basically get more high quality video but for now this is all i can do okay next one we'll be using oh they'll be using the the bright yellow wash uh to cover it up the bright yellow wash to cover it all up and uh we are going to be covering it all uh, all up we won't forget when you wash it let it dry for a couple seconds usually it's one drop per uh per six to ten drops of water and when it wants a little bit dry, you want to uh, dab it with a with a dry paper towel to get all that excess out of it as well. So then, when you get the excess, you can see the little overcoat of the yellow. This is a second uh, uh, wash as well. I don't know. I think a little bit of that brown little paint got stuck on the palette. I got on there, but that's fine. You can give that can give a little bit of character. <laughs> I just got some really lazy on it as well. And you know, do it a second time wash and uh, basically uh, let, let it uh, dry for a couple uh, seconds. I'll say about 20 to 25 seconds because acrylic do dry fast. I dab with the paper and there's black primer. I think that's going to be for the base. That's M I use a lot of MSP paints because it's a lot cheaper. Uh, and I think I just ripped the top off and just pour it all in. And you buy more black, uh, black primer. And this is going to be the black wash, I believe because i use a little bit of the black primer and there's that a whole bunch of water for it and there's a black wash to give that final patine detail weathering it will go through every single crack and uh everything if you do it too much of the you want to remember if you want to brush the wash very very lightly uh for it uh, uh because it, it will make it look very very nasty as well um so yeah so you can give that a little bit of cleaning wash everything see that little detail for it don't forget 25 to 30 seconds dab it with a towel you might have to do a second or a third black wash for it to give it that nice look look for it as well usually i paint the base last due to the fact that a lot of, when you do the, a lot of these uh washes they do drip down tenderly it makes the base look kind of nasty so I think I believe I, I'm a, it's been a month I'm doing this. I'm doing a voiceover for right now. See that crack is going all over. Yeah, that's that's what you really want uh, for it. Now misty gray. I think that's for the base. The misty gray. Uh, you can use any color for your base. I use misty gray to cover all that. See that little black little splashes on the base? Yeah, to cover all that up. <laughs> so it'll look a lot prettier. I do have a terrain uh, kit and have a terrain, a uh, lot of these terrain stuff for it. I might do one. i never done a terrain one before in my life, just to let you know. So I might do a review on some of these that I have not opened yet. So I will probably do it in one of these miniatures as well. Um, I have it for I think over a year or two and I have the clear glue for it it just I never really had the time to do it um, but yeah <laughs> there you have it so 
Just be careful with the toes and the claws. You don't want to cover the gray over it as well. You want to get as much as possible. That's what's a good thing about the terrain too. Just glue in, just put sand on, be one with the miniatures and everything else for it as well. So here we go. Looks pretty nice. Let that dry. I believe I did the eyes. I know I had the finish point. I had I did the eyes and everything as well. You always want to put it down um, so that you know. A lot of times when you turn it around, you know, you, you hold it up, paint drips and stuff. So there you go uh, for that as well. And then and there you see it. Uh, I must kind of go over because I think I did I did miss it the eyes try to get the eyes there you go the eyes you see the little black mark on it the little dash of black mark that's the eyes for it i know that i put a little bit of orange yellow on the eyes to differentiate from the outside of the carapace but i do have a lot of pictures for that as well i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe like and share we'll do more for it as well for the detail uh for it and uh i'll see you guys later have a great day guys bye